After declaring a territorial emergency, Yukon is ramping up its efforts to combat a deadly drug overdose crisis. Officials declaring the emergency after four people died from confirmed drug overdoses in the first week of 2022, and at least three more suspected overdoses from this month are currently being investigated by Yukon Coroner's Service. So with us this morning is Yukon's Minister of Health, Tracy Ann McPhee. Good to have you with us this morning. Good morning, Emery. Uh, some more numbers to share with everyone. There were 23 overdose deaths in Yukon last year. That represents a 475% increase from 2019. So what has happened over the last couple of years that's led to this increase? Well, I think there's a number of things, not the least of which is a, uh, a concerted effort by uh, drug dealers to bring uh, tainted drugs and uh, dangerous uh, substances into the territory. And uh, we have uh, a number of individuals here in our territory who are struggling with addictions. And uh, they are a prime target for people who uh, choose to, uh, to take this uh, opportunity. And uh, unfortunately, uh, there's been uh, many struggles. Uh, too many people have struggled in our territory and, uh, and far too many people have uh, succumbed to this uh, horrible uh, situation. And it's time for us to take action. When you're dealing with a crisis of this magnitude, can you give us a sense of what happens to these communities that are involved? Uh, yes. Uh, well, primarily, um, the, um, the situation is focused in Whitehorse lately, but I should say that we have 14 Yukon communities, and absolutely every single one of them are adversely affected. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, have a small population here, as you can imagine. Uh, uh, six degrees of separation doesn't exist here. It's closer to no degrees of separation. Almost every person in the territory will have been affected by one of these deaths uh, in, in a horrible way, in a tragic, uh, feel the tragic loss for these families and for these communities. Yeah, you know, statistically, there's numbers behind what you're saying. Yukon has the highest rate of opioid overdose deaths in this entire country. 46.5 people out of 100,000 falling victim. So what are the public health strategies that the province is going to use to try and reduce these deaths? Well, yeah, thanks for that question. I mean, of course, those numbers are skewed by the fact that we don't have 100,000 people here in the territory. It's approximately 40,000 people. So that's the, the case. But that, that doesn't affect uh, anything with respect to the reality. The reality is that this is an express commitment by our government, uh, a priority for uh, government action. And we're uh, committed to working with our partners. It's a consolidated and a, and a coordinated response with our communities, with our First Nations governments, and truly a call to action for our government and a call to action to all Yukoners. Uh, we're, uh, we're attempting some bold steps here. Uh, it is a harm reduction approach, and it absolutely must be. This is a health emergency, and we have to shift the public understanding to, under, to, to confirm that this is, in fact, a health issue and that our uh, government will lead that uh, through bold action. We announced a number of actions uh, over the last couple of days, and we will continue to work with our partners. We, of course, uh, have taken this uh, initial step so that we can then coordinate uh, what does in each individual community need? What do, how can we help? And uh, how can we all work together to make sure that uh, the suffering stops, uh, to make sure that uh, our communities uh, can be healthy and safe and that uh, places for all of our, our territory uh, and, that, uh, and that we can stop having this, this pandemic uh, alongside of the COVID-19 pandemic in a way that is meaningful and coordinated here in the territory. Minister, you bring up a really interesting point. My next question was, you know, we saw this happen in BC where you have these parallel health crises happening, happening in your region as well. What is the biggest challenge for you? Uh, I think one of the biggest challenges is isolation. Uh, one of the, and I, and I don't mean necessarily from COVID-19, but, but uh, drug use is often uh, considered to be uh, something that is shunned, uh, something that is uh, hidden in the shadows. Uh, we are urging individuals to not use alone. We have a, a concerted and a successful uh, campaign about naloxone uh, kits for the last number of years, and that has saved many Yukoners. But we're urging people to not use alone at this point. The current toxic drug uh, use in, in here in the territory is is simply not something that can be 
adjusted or stopped or mm. reversed uh, by a single naloxone kit. We're urging for people to be uh, compassionate, to uh, reach out to their family and friends and reach out to others who can are here to support them. We have a safe consumption site. We have a safe supply that's available. Uh, we just have to do more. Minister McVie, thanks so much for coming on and sharing what's happening in that region with us. Thanks so much for your questions. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.